following presentation will be an introduction to the Career Development Center with an overview of the Keystone Promise and instructions for completing the Discover an Online Career Assessment Program. To begin, go to the menu bar that says Student Life and select Career Development Center. Here you will see a table that has the services that our office provides. We help students when choosing a major, exploring career options, writing resumes and cover letters, searching for jobs and internships, as well as preparing to interview and apply to graduate school. Our office is in charge of managing the Keystone Promise. The Keystone Promise is our pledge to first-time, full-time students in good academic, financial, and social standing, which means that you must start your college career at Keystone as a freshman and remain a full-time student throughout your years here. Maintain good grades, make sure your bills are paid on time, and abide by the student rules of conduct. And as long as you complete the requirements of the Career Development Center, we guarantee that you will have received at least one job offer, or where appropriate, acceptance into a graduate program. If that does not occur, you will potentially be eligible for additional courses in career counseling at no additional charge. The requirements of the Career Development Center include completing a career assessment and planning workshop, which is required of all pre-majors and will be covered within the first year seminar classes. The Discover program, which is the career assessment that was mentioned earlier, will also be completed in first year seminars. The next step would be to develop a career plan with a career counselor. This must be done within the Office of Career Development, which is located in the Hibbard Campus Center next to the bookstore. You will also need to complete a resume and cover letter, provide contact information for three professional references, schedule an appointment to go over postgraduate or transfer educational counseling, become registered for College Central Network, our online job and internship search board, go over your job search strategies with a career counselor during your senior year, and complete a mock interview and attend an interviewing workshop offered by the Career Development Center. Throughout the year, we will also host events that bring recruiters on campus where you can talk to them about part-time, full-time positions and internships. You will also want to look for employment fairs hosted by NPEC throughout the school year. For more information on these events, please contact the Career Development Center. To get started with Discover, please return to the Career Development Center's homepage and click on the Discover icon. You will have been provided with a username which you would type in and then click Submit. The next screen will ask you to create your password. You will then be asked to fill in your personal information. At this time, if you wanted to change your username and ID and password to something that is much easier to remember, please click on the purple icon on the left. When filling in your personal information, please be sure to select Student Undergraduate as the category that best describes you, and for Counselor or Advisor, select Chris O'Connor. Once you have logged in, you will see a screen with a flashing icon that says Get Started. That's what you will be doing to complete the Discover Career Assessment Plan is finding an occupation that fits me, which should already be checked off for you. Once that's selected, select Path, and you will be given a summary of what this, the steps are to find an occupation that fits you. To begin, you will be doing an interest inventory. The interest inventory is a series of 72 questions that will be asking you to evaluate how much you enjoy a variety of different activities. For example, the first question you will be asked is to use a microscope or other lab equipment. If this is something that you like to do, select like. 
The next question is prepared drawings to illustrate a magazine or story. If you do not feel that artistic ability is something that you enjoy doing or utilizing, then select Dislike. And then for any activities like helping a newcomer meet new people, if that's something that you're indifferent about, select Indifferent. At the end of the inventory, you'll be shown a multicolored wheel, which will break your interests down into six different career clusters and 26 different career areas, and show you which professions your interests line up with. So if your interests line up with the career area of engineering and technologies, you can select, on, select this link and you will see a list of professions that are matched to your answers. Once you have used the results to explore the professions that match your interests, you can move on to the next inventory, which would be an abilities inventory. The abilities inventory is going to ask you a series of questions about 15 abilities important to career planning. Based on research, these are 15 key abilities that are related to a variety of different professions. When answering these questions, you need to think about how you compare to other people your age and how you rate yourself on the different sets of skills. So for the first question, you will need to rate yourself on your ability to meet other people and your social abilities. Is talking with people and getting along with others and making a good impression something that you feel you are about average with compared to other people your age? Or are you a really social and outgoing person and you need to rate yourself high? Or is social interaction something that you find a little bit more difficult to do on a regular basis than you would want to rate yourself as below average or low? It is very important that you are honest about your own abilities in this particular assessment. You are the only person that will see these answers and it will help match you with a profession that will utilize your natural strengths. And when continuing through the assessment, keep thinking of each of these things and how well you do them. Are you someone that is quick to help others? Then you would want to rate yourself as high. Are you good at influencing people to purchase products? And again, when you've con Again, when you've completed your inventory, you will see the ability inventory results within the world of work map that you saw at the end of your interest inventory. Here it will show you where your natural abilities and skills that you've already developed to this point and which professions they are in line with. Again, you can use these results to explore and read about different professions that people with your same abilities are good at doing. To complete the Discover program, you will need to move on to the third inventory that will assess your workplace values. The Values inventory will help you find out which work values are important to you. This will help you explore career areas that are likely to satisfy the values you prefer most and avoid those you prefer least. This inventory is a set of 22 value characteristics that are placed into four categories, work settings, work tasks, work preparation, and work opportunities. Rate each value by clicking on whether it's something you don't want, something that's not important to you, something that's somewhat important, or things that are very important. For example, the first question is going to ask you about working in an office. Is that something that's going to be very important to you? or something that's not important at all. The next question is going to ask you if it's important for you to work outside. Is that something that you don't want or something that you think would be very important? The inventory will continue on asking you other values related to work. Would you prefer to work separately or would you rather work in groups? 
do you want to work in a position where you would have public contact? This could include being a politician or being in a service profession such as a hairstylist or working within community development or as a counselor. Is it important for you to have a regular schedule with a set 40-hour week? When you've completed the values inventory, you'll be shown the world of, work, world of Work map a third time. Here it will show you where your values fall within the world of work and which professions are related to the things that you think are important to you. Once you've completed all three inventories, you want to use your results to explore. When you use your results to explore, it will show all of your answers on one World of Work map and show you the career areas where you've had overlap. Ideally, you will see a career area where your interests, abilities, and values match. These are the career areas you're going to want to explore first, because they show you different professions that are related to your natural abilities, what you are interested in, and the things that you value. And ultimately, if you're interested in what you're doing, you find value in it, and you're good at it, you're going to be successful. In a situation where you do not have overlap with an interest, abilities, and values, you're going to want to then look for an area where you have overlap between your interests and your values. Because as long as something's important to you and it's something you're interested in, the skills will come later. When looking through the results, if you click on the different professions, you will see each profession listed in more detail. You can get a summary of the work tasks and the work environment that is common for that profession, the abilities needed, the minimum education and the recommended education, as well as information on average salary range, expected growth of the field, You can also use the main menu bar at the top of each occupation to look up related occupations. So an experimental psychologist would break down into other categories that are more specific, such as a biological psychologist, cognitive psychologist, comparative psychologist, consulting psychologist, and so on. If you are in a situation where your results do not show the profession that you are most interested in pursuing, you can go to the blue tab at the top of the screen that says Occupations and look at an alphabetical list of careers. You can find the career that you want so that you can read more about it. If the career you are interested in pursuing did not show up, it's going to be very important for you to look at the abilities required for that profession. These are the skills that you're going to want to gain while you are in college. And that's one of the reasons why we have you complete this program as a freshman. And so that you can get introduced to the different professions that people like you have enjoyed and been successful at doing, and so that you can see what skills will be needed, to get needed in order for you to get the entry-level job in your field when you are ready to graduate. What the Career Development Center hopes that you will do is use the Discover Career Assessment and Planning Program to explore different career options and use the information within the program to develop your initial career plan. If you have questions about your results and would like to talk to a career counselor, 
you can email the Career Development Center at cdc at keystone.edu or call 570-945-8312 to schedule an appointment. When you have completed the Discover program, make sure to, to select Save and Exit at the top of the screen. You can fill out the evaluation questions if you'd like, but it is not necessary or required.